How's it going everyone? So today we're going to talk about how to reduce face fat and swelling. So I got a question from a subscriber on this. We're going to go over this right now. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. It really helps my channel grow. Click on the notification bell too so you get all my videos. So the subscriber, he asked me this question. Uh, they noticed that first thing in the morning their face is swollen and they want to get rid of this face fat. They don't know what to do so they're asking me. We'll answer it right now. So the first step in defining the problem, and I always tell you guys this, the first step is to identify the problem. So what is actually causing the swelling? That is the first thing we need to know before we actually try to get rid of it. Because we can keep getting rid of it over and over again, but if we don't identify the underlying problem, then what's the point, right? So there are some problems that can happen with swelling of the face. The number one reason is probably going to be an allergic reaction of something. A lot of people in the summertime, they get allergic reactions due to the change of the weather, a pollen, uh, the different temperatures, stuff like that. So it can be an allergic reaction even to flowers, um, anything. So check for an allergic reaction. If you have to go to the hospital to get checked for different allergic reactions, I highly recommend you do so so you can combat that. Having a swollen face every day is not normal, just so you guys know. Uh, another problem could be cellulitis, you guys, so bacterial skin infection. That is another reason. Uh, conjunctivitis, inflammation around your eyes, that could be another reason why. So some people mistake those three common things with swelling of the face, but they're actually medical terms and you guys should get those looked at just in case. Okay, so how do we actually get rid of the swelling? Um, how do we reduce the face fat? What do we do? hot compresses and ice packs you guys so what i recommend doing is put a hot compress on your face leave it on there five ten minutes not super hot so you burn your face but just warm enough so that it will get rid of the inflammation after the 10 minutes put on an ice pack i love doing this because you get the hot and cold you get it's kind of like putting hot and cold icy hot on your face but i don't recommend that at all so I do this all the time, sore back, sore legs, sore biceps, sore shoulders, hot compress, then an ice pack. It really works. You feel it. Amazing. Highly recommend that. Third tip, less salt in your diet. You need 2200 milligrams of sodium per day for the average person. What I recommend is 1500 milligrams. That's for people with high blood pressure. Uh, really reduce the salt intake. Um, what most people, most Americans, most Canadians eat in a day for salt is around 3,500 to 4,000 milligrams of salt per day. That has been proven in many studies. So we're almost doubling our salt intake. So if you reduce your salt intake, your face will dramatically come down. Not only that, but people always say that, you know, they, they can't quite see their abs. They can't quite see definition. That is because the salt is in your body and then once you drink a ton of water lots of fluids then it's only going to make you more bloated it's going to make you look very soft so if you look hard sometimes in the morning but then you look softer throughout the day it's because you're eating a ton of salt get off the salt you will notice a lot of things that are different um, and health benefits too one out of three people in the world have high blood pressure you want to combat that lower your salt intake they call it the silent killer for a reason, you guys, one out of every three people have it. If you have a family of four, one person in that family has high blood pressure, guaranteed. Okay, fourth tip, go to your doctor. I know you guys don't wanna hear this. I know you guys came to the video for my help, but if it's an allergic reaction, if it's conjunctivitis, if it's cellulitis, if it's any one of those or another underlining medical condition, it's very hard for me to tell you guys over the internet. It's best to get a professional to do it for you. So if you have noticed that it happens often, like I would say five or six times a week, go to the doctor. If it's happening once every once in a while, it's it's not a huge deal. Chances are it's something you're eating. It could be with your salt. It could be other reasons why. But if it's happening every single day or every other day, get it looked at. Please, guys, trust me. There could be an underlining condition. I don't want to see all my subscribers get hurt, injured, none of that. I want you guys to be living a good, healthy lifestyle. Okay, fifth tip to get rid of that face fat is going to be losing weight. That is right, you guys. You would not imagine 
the difference in your face fat when you lose weight. I have done lots of bulking and cutting cycles in my time as a bodybuilder, power lifter, strength trainer. Um, I've done around nine to 10 cycles of bulking and cutting, if you will. Now I just maintain my leanness all year round. But during those times that I was cutting weight, um, I would often bulk for a year, gain about 20 to 30 pounds, then cut, lose the 20 to 30 pounds. You would not notice the difference when I was at 200 pounds and 170 pounds. At 200 pounds, my face was like this. So it was very chunky, you guys. It was like, it wasn't too bad. Actually, I wasn't super fat, but you could definitely tell on my face. You could tell 100%. Get down to 170, my face is chiseled, you guys. Like, it looks good. Chiseled jawline, you can see everything. It, it, it's fantastic. And that is the difference, 30 pounds. I know a lot of people wanna give different exercises for your face, they wanna tell you this, that, that. The best way to get rid of your face fat is simply to lose weight. It will completely mind boggle you, even losing 10 pounds, what it'll do to your face fat. 20 pounds, 30 pounds. If you're overweight by 50 pounds, you lose those 50 pounds, people will not recognize you. They'll be like, hey, who are you? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm Joe, I'm, yeah, what? No way, it's, yeah. Trust me, losing weight is huge. Sixth tip for the swelling on your face. Use green tea bags on your cheeks. They have an antibacterial and a healing uh, formula in them and they do get rid of inflammation as well. So just boil your uh, tea bags, take them out, wait four or five minutes until they're not scalding hot. Put the tea bags under your eyes or wherever the swollen part is. It will reduce your inflammation, you guys. It has been proven by science, it does work. That's what I highly recommend. Use those green tea bags. Everyone should have tea bags at home. Most of you guys do. If not, go buy them. They're super cheap, not very expensive. Try it out. For how long should you put the tea bags on your face? 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is the golden spot that I have noticed that reduces the inflammation on your face. Seventh and last tip, you guys, is stay hydrated. Believe it or not, our body, three quarter of our body is made up of water. If you dehydrate yourself, there are numerous health negativities that caught that come if you dehydrate yourself like it, it's it's phenomenal depression lack of energy tiredness um crankiness different parts of your body stop functioning like it's it's mind-boggling it affects your skin how your skin looks if you notice people who drink a lot of pepsi coke you'll notice that their skin really isn't that good there's like the their skin levels are very bad. I always get compliments on my skin. People are like, you have really nice skin. Do you use lotion and stuff? I tell them, no, I stay hydrated. I drink three to four liters of water every single day and I make sure my hydration levels is good. My urine is constantly not super clear white, but but it's pretty white, you guys. That's what you want. You don't want it like pure white. That means you're drinking too much water, but you want pure white with a little bit of yellow in it. That's perfect. That's what you guys want for your urine levels. Um, Hydration is key, you guys. Your skin will look better. It will bring down swelling. And believe it or not, all the sodium that you have in your body, if you're eating a high amount of sodium, by drinking all that water, it's gonna flush out that sodium. So that's what you guys want. So in the video, hopefully I gave you guys a lot of tips to help you guys reduce your face fat and your swelling. If you have any questions, comment below. I will answer them. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Like the video, share it. It really helps my channel grow. We're at 20,000 plus subscribers. I appreciate that, you guys. If you're interested in online personal training from me, send me an email. My email is in the description box. Send me a quick email. We can discuss some fees, stuff like that. Perfect. Thanks, guys. End of video.